so good afternoon everyone myself dr preeti mishra convener of iic hi ma'am iitm uh, welcome you all Hi, in this session on developing online repository in business plan prototype develop and way forward the session will be taken by uh, dr b divya priya ma'am uh, she is innovation ambassador of the uh, uh, and she is associate professor of the commerce kongomoda arts and science college and madam is having vast experience of 14 years and she wrote a number of research papers and in you know, scopus and ugc gear she has to her credit best paper award and many more uh, madam is madam belongs to chennai and once again i welcome everyone all the persons who have taken spare their time for this event and uh, very good afternoon to everyone and i pay my gratitude to our honorable chief patrons mr viraj sagar das ji chief patron mrs alka das gupta ji and our patron director director dr s s chauhan sir and uh, we welcome uh, you ma'am and ma'am now you can take forward the session Good afternoon to one and all present here, and uh, I thank for this opportunity. And I'm here to give a uh, to give a special session on the online repository on business plan for the port of a prototype developed. And uh, here, I hope you all be, will be very familiar about the terms business, entrepreneur, and innovation, startups, and uh, these words have become a buzzwords to be. And uh, some your voice voice is not uh, clear. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Now it is audible. Ma'am, you can share your okay. PPT also. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And uh, and thank you, ma'am, for the wonderful introduction. I'm Dr. B. W. Priya, working as an associate professor in the Department of Commerce and Professional Accounting, Kumar Arts and Science College, Kaimato. And uh, today we are we often come across the words innovation, entrepreneurship. startups and these words become a buzzword today and uh, can anyone inside this room can give a overview what is what do you mean by business and how does it differentiate differences itself from uh, entrepreneurship and uh, startups yes students yes ma'am ஒன்னு <laughs> the lafitas business and very less less risk is involved and uh, these apples are sold with the aim of making profit that's why he is called as a businessman but when you come to entrepreneurship if if you have if you have a certain changes in the existing business for example uh, in case if you uh, sell the same apple and the same so startup do not have a market place it is very new to the market uh, the product is very new to the market and you have to check whether the product is accepted by the customers or not so you have to go for checking the minimum viable product with some basic features 
so in case if the uh, customers ask for some additions or alterations in your product then you can definitely bring those changes in the products that is what we call startup a startup do not have market base and after after your product is accepted by the customer then you have to go for drafting business plan and in case of technology based business you have to go for uh, developing a software with coding uh, with coding and other features then coding when certain again you have to go for iteration process checking to add many more features which is lacking uh, which is lacking from the existing features so when uh, when, it, when the product is ready that is when the software is ready you will just release in the market and uh, for that you have to draft a business plan which is very very important concept for each and every business person and who aims to start up the business should know so here we go i will be sharing my screen uh, please check if it is visible to you or not is this my screen visible yes ma'am yes. yes next is uh, so developing online repository on business plan or prototype developed so business plan is prepared at the time of at the time when your product is ready to release it in the market only when your product is ready to release in the market you will go for preparing the business plan so business plan it is a written document or a typed document which consists which gives a skeleton of your business structure for the next 3 years for a minimum period of fixed to 3 years so here it is so business plan is generally projects 3 to 5 years ahead so what you are going to do in the next 3 to 5 years and outlines the route a company intends to reach its yearly milestone including revenue projections so a well thought out plan alone helps you to step back and think objectively about the key elements of your business venture and informs your decision making on a regular basis that is without understanding without understanding what uh, what is a business plan uh, what your product is we cannot uh, execute business plan planning is very important because it helps in carrying out the other activities of your organization so planning when you go for business plan it has to be drafted for minimum period of 3 to 5 years and it just gives the outline how your business is going to perform in the near future and what's your milestone to achieve in a particular year in a year so to evaluate you have to evaluate the feasibility of a new business idea in an objective critical and an emotional way so you have to go for a feasibility study first hand study about your business and uh, with considering the objectives and and then you have to go for marketing so whatever you sell you have to check whether the product has a market and how much you can sell per day and management does the management team have the skill so without knowing about the skill of the person that you have appointed for your organization the people you have appointed for your organization you have to check with their skills and capabilities because without applying skill and knowledge as no business can survive definitely they they, will, they should require some skills to execute all the actions and uh, financial can the business makes a profit so you have to check all these three and considering in all aspects and uh, you should not give way for emotions and all so that is what we what is important is and uh, when you start developing a business plan you can check over the operating plan operating plan is just taking what is happening day by day in your business so it just helps you to uh, reach attain the success so operating plan to assist in running the business and improves the probability of success so it just identify identifies the opportunities business opportunities and helps you to correct mistakes it helps in administrative production and marketing plan so for developing other plans uh, definitely this business plan is required because business it a uh, business as a term the business it consists of my, uh, several functions based on the nature of the business marketing human resource strategic function uh, payroll that is labor functions and uh, many more 
So these functions have to be integrated. So for integrations, you have to go for, definitely you have to frame a business plan, three budgets and projections to show financial outcomes. So what is your target profit, target sales in a particular year and how much profit you're going to fix on your product? Why? So why business plan is required? Because it helps you to communicate idea to others. For example, if you want to raise finance, you have to, uh, you have to approach a bank and other financial institutions. Other when, uh, when it comes for raising news, definitely they will be asking about the business plan. So they will be checking into what is your long-term and short-term plan. Without understanding the nature of business and business plan, definitely your organization can't make profit and can't make success. So that will be a question mark whether without uh, giving the exact business plan to the outsiders for raising loans in order to uh, how, the, how people in the business, how, how the people running the business will succeed. That is the major problem. So one has to go for checking with the, one has to go for checking with the right, uh, right one, ha one have to go for checking with the plan with the, by proce uh, proceeding the plan to others. That, that is by giving their plans to others uh, to market their goods or uh, uh, to raise finance to the investors, to other stakeholders. So it just gives, it communicates idea to others. That is what you're going to do in the near future, three to five years, and it helps as a selling tool and provides the basis for a for financial proposal. And they determines the amount and types of financing needed. So business plan is needed, definitely it is needed because you have to know how much funds is required to run up a business. Without understanding how much uh, profit is to run, how much profit you can make out of the business and how much funds you are required to run out the business, to run for the business. So it is very important. So how much amount is required to start up a business, how much fund is required to, for expansion when you go for expansion and diversification that is also required and uh, you can focus profitability so uh, based on the expenses you will be uh, rendering day to day so day to day you have to come across several expenses and how come these expenses are, affect your business and uh, and what is the impact of those expenses on your business on your profitability that is also to be checked out so for checking all this you have to go for drafting the exact business plan. So to forecast profitability and investor return on investment. So how much return uh, you're going to pay in the form of dividend to the shareholders. So dividend, when, when it comes for uh, investors return on investment, they always aim at maximizing the value of their, uh, of their organization. Because once if the market share, because the investment amount may be uh, they may have invested in your company by purchasing thousand shares for a for a for a piece ten per share. So they can uh, the total amount of investment they made will be only rupees ten thousand. So when it when your plan is right and if your product is accepted by the customers day by day you can increase your sales by increasing the sales definitely your market share of the company will go up will rise up and this will help the investors to make. Uh, to make increase their uh, value of the shares. That is uh, the sale, uh, the price of the share where they bought for rupees 10 may be increased to rupees 15. That's why the amount of investment made by them may increase to rupees 15,000. So this is all what uh, investors expect in return. Forecasting cash flow and show liquidity and ability to repay it. So, yeah, so how credit worthy of your company? Your credit worthiness of the company can be judged only by only based on uh, the cash flows, based on the forecasted cash flow that will help you to check uh, check for uh, any deviations. So budgeting is very important. Uh, so as per this, budget is also a kind of tool. So this is what uh, the important concept is. So it just uh, business plan helps to communicate the ideas to others, what you're selling and uh, and also helps you to rate finance for the product uh, for your company. And who will use the plan? Definitely, if you won't use the plan, because it is very internal to the firm. When it is internal to the firm, uh, it will become less formal. So when it comes to, when it, when it was, when 
used by outsiders only then you will come to know how strong your business plan was how very how much important the business plan was because presentation quality is very important to outsiders so uh, in case if you want to raise your finance definitely you have to go for you have to go for a financing proposal how much fund is required and uh, how you are going to apply those funds how you are going to apply those funds for your business for the purpose of your business so if you won't use the plan to raise money your plan will be internal and it will become less formal and if you are presenting it to outsiders as a financing proposal then presentation quality through financial analysis are also very important so this is the template how a business plan looked so executive summary first cover page it it just comes uh, it just consists of uh, under cover page in the cover page it consists about your business about your company name the date of its establishment year of year and date of establishment and what is the nature of your business what is the type of business everything will be covered under business plan that is under cover page next comes executive summary who are the directors of your company and uh, uh, who are the key founders that are four founders of your company that and all will be and what what is you are going to execute that will be elaborated a detailed note will be elaborated as an executive summary next is industry overview overview for example if you are running in a transportation industry you have to know about the industry market analysis and competition without understanding the knowledge of without understanding the tastes and preferences of your customer definitely you cannot sell you cannot sell your product in the market so therefore market analysis becomes a very important uh, very important segment uh, while you have business plan because uh, as i told you before taste and preference is very important you have to design your product as per the likes and dislikes of the customers so based on the customer uh, so if a, if a single customer is satisfied with the product definitely they will go for a, they will go for a, go on tell to other customers that they are satisfied with the product and they can have the product and uh, use the product at least once in a life that helps you to catch uh, new customers for your product so competition competition is very important when it comes to competition uh, because the word itself competition it is a battle war for existing business that will be definitely that will be a competition so you have to understand what your competitors is do, doing in case of existing business you have to understand what your competitors are doing with the product uh, or doing with the product and what kind of strategies they implement for attracting new customers and how come you give us different strategies in order to in order to satisfy your customers and to attract uh, new customers to rethink the existing customers next is uh, under market analysis sales and marketing plan you have to go for sales and marketing plan uh, and then management plan management plan is about uh, knowing how who are the team members of your organization operating plan what are your day to day activities of a business uh, business and how does that is uh, uh, for example working capital helps you to understand how many fund is required uh, day by day uh, to uh, to purchase some materials and to make payment of payment of wages salaries and to make from payment to creditors and what is your collection period and what is your uh, uh, average payment period everything is determined under operating plan so financial plan financial plan helps to identify how much funds is required and what and uh, what types of sourcing you can raise for uh, you can arrange for raising funds and how you are going to uh, apply the funds in the business apply the funds raised out of for your business and how much profitability you are going to apply and you can go for checking uh, checking with the projects which project is the best for your organization and where, and which project it helps you to bring more profitability to your organization next is appendix and exhibits just tells about uh, uh, how you are going to execute your businesses for example projective financial it may consist of projective financial statements Projected sales, trend analysis, measuring of analysis, things given in appendix and exhibits. So this is the template of 
business plan. So first thing is executive summary. It should contain executive summary, excess industry overview, overview, market analysis and competition, sales and marketing plan, management plan, operating plan, financial plan, and appendix and exhibits. So first thing is you have to understand before applying business plan, you have to understand what a business was, what your what is your business, and why do you sell the product. So here uh, there are some questions which helps you in giving the brief description of your business. So uh, br uh, brief description includes what is your product, who you are producing the product, who is your right customer, is the customers ready to buy the product, do the customers ready to buy the product, and uh, what is the target market, and uh, where you can sell your products. So these are all the things. So what general type of business is this? Is this your business, transportation, or shipping, or, uh, or else uh, uh, restaurant, hospitality. So what general type of business you're going to is this. Next is what is the status of the business? You have to understand whether the business is startup business or you're going to expand your uh, running business. Expanding is uh, just, for example, if you have, if you're selling the pro product only at a local market. What is the position when you go for uh, capturing national market? So you can go for expansion. This is what existing business can be expanded. So take over. And if you are taking over some, someone else's business, already the business existed by some other person. And when you want to take over such kind of business, and uh, what is the business form? So is the business form a sole proprietorship? Sole proprietorship is a business where only one person solely runs the business. Partnership, when two or more persons to come together, join together to share profit and losses in by doing a business in an agreed ratio. That is what we call partnership commerce. Finally, corporation. Corporation or limited liability company. So company is, an, uh, is a legal entity which is created by law, uh, having a common sale and perpetual successor. That is common sale is whatever the uh, documents, whatever the uh, matters you release out of your company, that should have a common say. And uh, perpetual succession is nothing but when uh, whoever the founders, whoever the directors of the company is no more, the company exists for others, exists forever. That is what we call uh, company is. And limited liability company is, it is not uh, the liability of the shareholders is limited to the amount with which they have contributed in the form of capital to the to the organization for the company. And what are your products? Also, what are you going to sell to your customers? And who are your right customers? And who are your target market? That is what we, that is what very important is. This is when, uh, when you're going for, the, uh, these are all the basic general questions for us to understand before writing the description of the business. So what general type of business is this? What is the status of the business? So status of business, it is a startup company. Startup company is new company where, where it doesn't have market base. As we told you before, it doesn't have a market base and it has to find, a new, uh, find new customers in order to sell the product. Expansion. So already existing business only can go for expanding their business. Takeover. So when you take over someone, so organization that is when the when already existing business is taken over by you that is what we call takeover so you have to know the status of your business what is the form of your business form of your business gives whether it is a sole proprietorship company a sole proprietorship partnership or a company so sole proprietor is for is a company is a is a business run by run owned and managed by only one person and the entire profit is enjoyed only by that person. Next is partnership when two or more persons join together and do a business with the aim of making profit and share the profit in an agreed ratio. Cor uh, corporation or limited liability company, a, cor a company which is created by law, having a legal entity, common sale and perpetual succession. The limited uh, liability, the word limited liability describes the liability of the investors and other stakeholders, it's limited to the amount of capital contributed by them for the company. And what are your products? What are your products? The product you're going to sell. 
whether it's tangible or intangible product. Tangible product is something which you can feel, which can touch and feel. But intangible product, you cannot see, only you can feel the product. Uh, only you can feel the product. So service becomes the kind. So what kind of products you are offering to your customers and who are your customers is very important. Whether you are targeting uh, uh, women or your product is targeted young children or uh, adults or uh, old uh, old people, old aged people. So you have to identify the right customers for your products. Next is so in case if you are if you are a startup startup company, you have to check whether your business plan is ready to explain is ready to give answers for all these questions. Why will you be successful in this business? So by doing this, by uh, giving an innovative solution for an existing problem, will you succeed in the market? And how far it will help you to gain, uh, it will help you to increase your personal value as well as business value. And what is your experience with this type of business? That is, what is your experience with this type of business already people sold and what innovative features you have given for your product uh, that is very important. Next is what will be special or unique about this business? So what is the special feature you're going to give for your uh, customers? And what is the problem? Uh, what is the solution you have identified to give us uh, to give for the society? Uh, the problem uh, you have, uh, you're giving us a solution for the problem faced by the society. And why will your business be successful? So you have to give the reason why your product is going to be successful in the market. So only by giving answers for all these questions, your uh, you can uh, your business description will be uh, will be cover, will be finished off, or else it will remain incomplete. Next is in case of existing business. So what are all the things you have to Go for asking by yourself. So when and by whom was the business founded? So who was the founder of the business? And what was his idea? Why is the owner selling? So why the person already doing the business is selling the business to you? So why is the owner selling the business? What is the reason behind it? And how was the purchase price demanded, uh, determined? So uh, what was the purchase price of the business? So it uh, you have to know about uh, all aspects. You have to think from all corners. So how far, how the purchase price is fixed for your product. So how, how they calculate to reach the uh, business price and what are the current financial, uh, financial conditions and trends. So what are the financial conditions today now? Is the, com is the company under debt? That and all you have to analyze. And uh, what was the trend? So in case if you if you if you bring the right changes in the existing product, or uh, if you bring certain changes by reducing the number of persons employed in an organization, that is resizing or downsizing of an organization, will it be beneficial for the company to make profit uh, to earn profit in the near future? That and all you have to check it off. And how will your management make the business more profitable? So how far the strategy? What was the strategy used by the existing people in order to remain successful? And what kind of strategy you're going to implement uh, for making the business a right, uh, rightly successful? Next thing is, after giving the description of business, you have to go for giving the description of products and services. So by a detailing of product features, for example, if you're, uh, uh, if you're, uh, uh, suppose uh, in case uh, if you're selling milk related products, you have to say what are the product features and how does it helps your customers and uh, how does it helps to solve a problem and an overview of unique technology of the process you have used uh, that will attract your attract new customers. For most business, the products or services are not totally unique. So that would be definitely for existing business, products existing is they will be having certain uh, gap a uh, certain gap which was identified from the existing product and uh, just uh, uh, just give you an example 
uh, at the beginning we all know Farrell lovely company for selling only a cream and then it has it has more added the features related to the related to that cream and that uh, and uh, Farrell was the competitor for Farrell lovely company which released the product by giving a unique feature. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, but one thing I would like to say, in case the meeting ends, all of you rejoin from the same link. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Ma you can continue. Ma thank you, ma'am. Yeah. So, what was the product they are going to sell? That is uh, that is very important. This. So for most business, the products and services are not totally unique. So if you are giving some unique feature, please take advantage and plan for the competitive battles that will come. So you can prepare for 